This is multiplayer FNAF. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> But not in the way you would expect. You see, I made it so that all players would control one body. Let me explain. A while back, I saw this YouTube thumbnail that really intrigued me. Come on, just look at that. That looks awesome. So I clicked on the video. The video was just a few friends using this application to control the mouse. And it was a great video. But I wondered, what if this was an actual gameplay feature? What would that look like? And then I immediately forgot all about that idea and then proceeded to destroy my attention span. Then like a month or two later, FNAF's 10th anniversary was coming up and my mind immediately went to that thumbnail. So what better way to celebrate than making the weirdest FNAF game possible? Hold on people, before we go on, this video is sponsored by you. If you like what I make, consider subscribing. And if you really like it, you can become a member. You'll get perks like your name in videos, custom badges, and early access to videos. Anyhow, back to your regularly scheduled content. So the plan for this game was to make FNAF but everyone controls one person. Basically, if you turn around, every player would turn around. Close or open a door. That will happen on the player's screens too. It's basically FNAF. But you're possessed, so I wanted this game to be in the style of the old point and click okay, FNAF. So the first game. night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. I'm just gonna be recreating FNAF 1 for this, because I can't think of anything original. But first, we need to make an Unreal Engine project. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's start with our player controller. In the original FNAF 1, there was this mouse controlled turning system. Now, instead of this, I opted for more of a FNAF 6 turning system. So whenever your mouse enters the side of the screen, it would turn 90 degrees that direction. Now, why did I do this? It's simple. I wanted coordinating to be as good as possible. Just think about it. If one player decides to turn, it will snap you immediately in that direction. And everyone else would be disorientated, which will cause them to turn, which will disorientate everyone else more. And you get the point. So right now, a turning system only works in single player. And I need this turning system to work for all players. Now, I'm working on a multiplayer FPS game called Chaotic Conflicts, which you should wishlist on Steam right now, right up there. Click that right now. So integrating multiplayer shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I don't see why. what is happening. Why am I infinitely turning? A few grueling hours recording later. It's not perfect, but it works. And then I got stuck for another hour trying to figure out how to make mouse interactions. But once I figured that out, I decided to start work on the doors, which are your only form of safety in FNAF 1. I did a bit of coding and it works exactly the same as FNAF 1, but except there's no windows. Who needs windows anyways? We have thousands of hours on Unreal Engine. But Steampunk, that's not a door. That kind of looks more like white blocks. I'll get a 3D model for that later. I'm sure I won't forget. Then I started making a very simple version of the pizzeria. There are no kitchens or bathrooms because, well, who needs a bathroom or a kitchen and a pizzeria? You know? Then after that, I started building out the office. We add a table here, place a bunch of junk there, add a fan here, and put a monitor. Now, this monitor is pretty important because it's part of the camera system. Speaking of which, I need to make them. So I made this camera actor and placed him all over the pizzeria. Then I added this post-processing effect which makes it look grainy and black and white. Then I made this simple map in Google Drawings and added buttons so you can switch between the cameras. You can enter the camera by clicking on the monitor which plays this clean transition which I directly stole from this game. Let's just keep this between you and me. Now, this camera system is actually pretty special because it's the only thing you can do independently. Which means you can be on cam 8 while your friend can be on cam 1. It's the only liberty you have, but you can be booted off of it anytime by anyone. Well, technically, the other independent thing you do in this game is leave. But who would do that? My games are great. Now that we have our pizzeria, doors, and cameras, we can still work on our animatronics. How does the FNAF AI work? That's a genuine question. I don't. Oh, great. There's a video about it. I'm sure this is pretty simple. My brain hurts. Dude, I watched this video like four times. I don't know how to do this. I After watching the video a bit more, shout out to this guy, I can explain to you how a basic FNAF AI works. Every FNAF 1 AI has an AI level, 1 to 20. Keep that in mind. Now, every five seconds, there will be a movement opportunity. It will pick a random number between 1 and 20. If the number picked is less than or equal to the AI level, it will move. I'll have to adjust this a bit because I want my animatronics to be moving in real time and not be random PNGs that teleport. A bit of coding later, meet Robert. Robert the Rectangle. He is my test AI and also the template for all the other AIs. Robert's only goal is to make his way down to your office, which he does pretty well. Sadly, Robert isn't part of the animatronic cast, so we sadly had to replace Robert. So I stopped on this Freddy model I found online and uh, he looks quite strange, but it works fine. We'll give him animations later. So then I started work on coding all the animatronics in. First, I found all their models on Sketchfab. Then, rigged them, animated them, and did their code. But one AI that's kind of unique is Foxy. Foxy also works off of movement opportunities. But whenever it succeeds, instead of moving, he'll slowly advance out of his pilot's cove. And once he's out, he'll run down this hallway and you have to close the corresponding door. Now, coding this is pretty simple. I got this Foxy model and this Pirate Scope model, rigged them both, made some animations for the phases, and it works very well. 
All of them kind of work the same, with a little bit of changes that make them a bit more aggressive. If Bonnie or Chica are at your door, you have three seconds to close the door. If not, they will instantly kill you. And for Freddy, he doesn't laugh anymore. Mainly because I couldn't find a laugh for him, but yeah. We, we don't need as soon as Freddy makes his way to his door corner, if the door isn't closed or you're not observing him, well... You might have noticed that Freddy's eyes are kind of glowing. You might also notice that all the animatronics' eyes are kind of weird. I don't know why I did this. I literally have no idea. Since this game is only gonna have one night, I set all their AIs to 20. And now we have an infinite FNAF game, which is kind of cool, but not what we want. And also you can close the doors forever. Now, in the original game, every time you close a door or open lights, it will add to your usage, which will drain your power. And when the power turns off, you lose your doors and cameras, and Freddy comes to attack you. And this system is pretty simple, yet effective. So I'm just gonna add that to mine. Now, I won't be going over the code because it's just a bunch of numbers and numbers are kind of boring. So here's the finished product. I added this UI element that helps you keep track of your usage and power. And once it all runs out, everything gets disabled and you just have to sit there. Sadly, I couldn't add Freddy's funny song because of time constraints, but you still die, so that works. Okay, now we have a worse multiplayer version of FNAF that you can't win. So let's add winning. So in most FNAF games, your only goal is to make it to 6 a.m. Oh. Oh. So I made it so that every 30 seconds-ish, an hour passes. You know, I'm not sure that's true. And once we get to 6 a.m., it plays this windscreen. It wouldn't be FNAF if I didn't add one of the most notorious characters ever, the phone guy. Now, he explains everything you need to do, and even drops some lore. And since I really gotta explain what's happening in this game, because it's such a weird concept, I'm gonna have to have a phone guy. And since I don't have voice actors on hand, I'm gonna have to. Okay. It's actually some lore to this game. Really, really shallow lore. Do not go looking into it. It's just really, really shallow. Speaking of lore, I also added this ending cutscene, which uh, you have to play the game to see it. It's not very good, but it is a cutscene. I also made the starting screen, which requires more than one person to start. There is no single player mode, because it will just defeat the entire purpose of this game. I then made a main menu with a lobby browser. Now, this only works locally which means on the same internet, okay? So if you want to play with your friends online, I've actually linked my own tutorial on how to set up everything for online play. It is kind of complicated though, so beware. Anyhow, I thought it would be funny to add a secret nightmare mode. You can enable this by entering the secret code into this camera and clicking on this cube. And yeah, that's the game done. So I sent it off to my friends and we started playtesting. So turn your, um, oh turn your camera, you can... Yeah, so everyone has in control. Oh, okay, they're moving, they're moving, they're moving! Oh my god, they're coming, they're all coming! Guys, look at Alright, guys, look at Foxy. Foxy's okay, he's stage one. That's good. Okay. Chica's coming. Chica's She's coming. Go to the door. No, that's the one. <laughs> Open the door. Oh, the close one. Okay. Come on, Sid. Okay, it's close. Oh. They're, they're not there. They're not the door yet. They're not the door yet. Wait for the end. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh wait, 5 a.m. Wait, maybe we can actually. We can. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Money left. Money left. Money left. Money left. Money left. Open the door. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, don't open that door. Don't, don't open the other door. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't use the device. Oh, dude, look, we're on one. We're on one. We're on one. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right, that's about it. If you want to play this game, it's on Game Jolt. And yeah, bye.